Goats, sheep and rabbits are making their contribution to modern medicine near Moscow. The animals are helping pharmaceutical companies produce drugs to treat diabetes and cancer. It's a groundbreaking science known as transgenic farming, as RT's Sarah Firth discovered. Just how do you milk a rabbit? More importantly, why would you want to? The genetically modified rabbits produce a very valuable drug in their milk, which is used in treating cancer. Here at a scientific research center on the outskirts of Moscow, these animals are aiding scientists in cutting-edge research. Welcome to the pioneering new world of farming pharmaceuticals. This is where the animals are kept. Now, these ones are ordinary rabbits, but if we go through into the next room, and you've got the transgenic or genetically modified ones. Now, it's these guys that are proving so vital in the discovery and development of new treatments for diseases. Whilst it might sound strange, the milk of transgenic animals has already been used to successfully treat patients, and it's not just rabbits. Around the world, traditional farming is now morphing into biofarming. Pharmaceutical companies are now turning to other domestic animals for new ways to produce drugs. It's a breakthrough in pharmaceutics. Now we want to get to the point where we can have cows and goats producing this same drug in their milk. At the moment, this research center doesn't have the funding to produce more than a few other genetically modified species. But rabbits remain their main source of research. Regulatory bodies in the EU and the US are slowly starting to allow drugs produced by transgenic animals onto the market. But it's slow progress. In Russia especially, a lack of guidelines and solid regulation in this area mean it remains a controversial issue. We feel that playing with genes could be dangerous for animals when people haven't fully studied all the hereditary mechanisms. From cute pets to resource providers, as biofarming continues to grow, what these guys produce could soon very well end up in your medicine cabinet. Sarah Firth, RT, Moscow.